This is Caliber, um, pretty much the best ebook management program out there. I'm gonna make a series of videos that show certain things. Well, probably one big long video. Um, if it gets too long, then I split it up. But here it is. Um, here is Caliber. Um, let's start with emailing books to people. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, when you highlight a book and click connect slash share, um, here's some options. And you have to go to email and then choose somebody. Now, uh, to make this list, you want to go into your preferences and then in sharing, sharing books by email, and you'll want to set up the email first of all. Um, I use Gmail of course. I will just click on it and it will pop up with the instructions on what to type in. Um, it fills in the information automatically. You just have to type in the login and password. After you do that, here is the list of people you can email. Um, over here you click add email and I will add one of my other email addresses here. RSS at yahoo.com and then this field you can choose what format to choose most likely you're gonna um, based on the person uh, Moby is for Kindle formats EPUB is for every other e-reader out there so um, that's why when I'm sending when I'm adding people to this I'm always asking them what's the e-reader because if it's a Kindle make sure it's Moby now, I don't have a Kindle so I will it as EPUB. You can set the subject, anything you want. I like to have it set as EPUB. Eric, and then you can have an alias. And I'll set it to Eric SS. And then you click apply, and then click close. And now, when you go to email something, it will be listed right here. Eric SS at yahoo.com. Um, the alias must not have taken, so let me check on that. Yeah, the alias did not take. Sometimes, sometimes it didn't take. And if it doesn't, just um, switch to it. And you'll highlight a different one. Um, apply, close, and now it will show as the alias, Eric SS. Um, what the formatting does um, in the email, if you haven't already converted it, it will automatically convert it to that format if need be before sending it. Um, to convert a book to a different format, just, just to convert it, all you have to do is highlight one. Let me find one that I don't have a Mobi for. Da -da 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 -da. Well, I'll reconvert it. But you just click on convert. Pops up with this. Um, mine is set as a default EPUB because I have a, a Nook. But you can change it to any of these formats. EPUB, Mobi, AZW3, which is another Kindle format it uses. FB2, HTMLZ, Lit, which is another ebook format um, specifically. ORF, PDB, PDF, PMLZ. Most of these I've never even heard of myself. Um, well, EPUB and Mobi will be the two that you most likely convert to. Um, choose the format you want and then click OK. And then it will list the jobs down here. I'm just converting the book. And sometimes it takes a little bit, sometimes not. Okay. Well, you don't have to open up this list, but I usually do take a look at it. <coughs> and talking about emails, in the preferences, um, down here are the tweaks. You want to find the one that says um, set the number of seconds to wait between emails. Let me find it. 
Let me find it. Well, that is the only tweak I've really messed with, is the one I'm about to show you. Um, so I doubt you'll um, really um, get into some of these other tweaks. Um, I can never find it. Just give me a second. I'm still trying to find it. Okay, right here. The number of seconds. Um, by default, it is set to 301 seconds, which is like five minutes. I would set it to zero or maybe one, and here's why. Um, close out of this. Close out of this. If you're sending multiple ebooks to someone, let's go with just these three. I'm going to email them to myself. It's going to do the emails right after another. Um, if you if you keep it at 305 or 301, you know, it's about, like I said, about 500 minutes. I mean, five minutes. It's going to wait five minutes between these emails. And if you're sending a whole lot of ebooks like I do sometimes, it takes forever because of that wait time. So that's, like I said, that's the only tweak I've really played with. I've never, I haven't really gone to the other tweaks. I've never had a need to but if you're going to email groups of ebooks to people definitely set that to a lot lower than 301 seconds okay um, edit metadata that's just the information on the books um, the title the author um, if it's part of a series you can download cover and those are the only ones I deal with or the information up here and download cover. Um, if, I, if it doesn't find the cover, um, if you hit browse, it will. Um, you can download the cover from like Wikipedia or Google or wherever you find it at, and you can import it that way. Um, when you make a change, though, let's say I just want to change that, this will be red and a lot of times it won't actually take unless you hit this blue arrow to actually save the change. So if I just go ahead and hit OK now, um, it did change but like I said a lot of times it doesn't. A lot of times you have to click this button to make it save. Um, this time it did. <coughs> you can delete books too. Um, highlight it press this button here like I have no idea why this one is in here so let's go ahead and delete this one and it confirms the one selected book will be permanently deleted and removed from the library click OK um, another thing you can do in the convert books if you click on the arrow create a catalog of books in your caliber library um, CVSC SV is an Excel file. That's most likely what you're going to want to do. You can name it. I named mine my books. And over here, um, you can set the different um, columns in it. Now, I like to have mine with just the title and the series. Okay. I'm going to ask you where you want to save it at.
forget something around there. It's generating 1582 books, so probably going to take a few moments. This is going to pop up and ask you where you want to save it to. And here it is. I like to keep mine in a book, in a folder just called Books on the Desktop. But that's all personal preference. You can say wherever you want. And now, if I were to go there, here it is, Books. There is the list of ebooks I can send to people. Hey, here's what I have in Caliber. Um, That's creating it. Like you can go through the different fields they have available for this list. Again, that's personal preference. I like to have just if it's in the series, and then the book title. Okay. Say another tidbit is um, you can save books, save to disk. Um, but before I do that, I want to do something. Uh, saving books to disk. I like to do it by series. So I want to change this to series and then change this. Okay. I click on apply. And close. Now let's choose one that does have a series. One of these books here. Save to disk. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. And again, I like to save them in a books folder. Select folder. And we're going to save it. And again, I go here. Meet a Blake. And then each each book will be in an individual folder, like Skin Trade. Open that. Here's all the books, the, the formats I have, and the cover art. Uh, see if I were to if I were to choose, let's say. Say so let's go with those. Save all these to disk. <coughs> See they're divided up by the series and then the book titles. Um, and now let me grab my nook and my cable. Wherever it may be. And of course, it is an ebook management, so when you plug your e reader, whether it be the Nook or the Kindle, and you plug it into your computer with Caliber on, or you plug it in and then fire up Caliber, it is going to be recognized within Caliber. As soon as it recognizes it, you'll, you'll see it. See? It changes. It has this on-device um, column. Um, that way, you can tell if your books in your library are in the book. But it is not showing anything in it, probably because um, I put books all on it on the. Oh, there it is. Um, they all display in the main memory because that's where I put everything, of course. Um, I can remove stuff from here. Let's say, um, let's find one that I haven't, I've have already read. Uh, Time Travel Works Life. Um, there is going to be an option to remove from library. If you right click on it, okay, I am not seeing, okay, remove books. Remove books, uh, just remove Mac and books from device. Um, that won't delete it from your library, it just takes it off of my Nook. So I click on that, and then click OK to confirm it. And the operation will be the same for a Kindle. 
<coughs> if you want to put a book on it, let's choose random book here. Um, Naked Lunch, whatever that is. Just um, if you have memory cards in your e-reader, you'll have options to send a storage card A or B, um, of course, send specific format to whatever. Um, I just do from the main memory. Whoop. It's running on the job, and now it's on there. So it should be on here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, you can eject the device and you're good to go. Start reading what you put on it. Um, like I said, I mean, that's what I use Caliber for. Obviously, you've seen that there's much, much more you can do just by looking at the screens. Um, I played around with a little bit of the different options, but the options I showed and the little um, tips and preferences that I showed you just now is probably going to be the most that you use. So, any questions or want to know how to do anything else, let me know.